Hi there. Thank you for joining. Today we'll be discussing the difference between team site and a communication site. So let's quickly go ahead and click onto this create site button and see there are two options which we get. One is the team site option. One is the communication site. This is a really like tough decision to make when you create a site, whether you need to go with a theme site or a communication site. So we'll, we'll see what the difference is in today's video between these two site options and uh, which one to choose in which situation and uh, how to move forward uh, in our use case. Uh, I just created two sites before starting the recording for this session. This is a communication site, which I created. So there is nothing crazy about the site. We see the navigation bar, which is on top, right? So this is the navigation bar, which we have on the communication site. It looks like it is intended for larger audience, bigger teams, where we need to uh, just, uh, just showcase the content. There is no two-sided uh, flow. That By that, I mean, uh, we just, uh, people can just interact with the document or in, interact with the content which I uploaded or which we are showcasing to the end user. They cannot really upload. They can, but it's more for uh, just, you know, one-sided interaction. So that's the communication site. We have the team site. Look into the, uh, the view, the layout for the team site. We have, for, instead of having the navigation bar on top, we now have the navigation bar on the left side, which actually becomes easier for people to use when they are collaborating within a team, maybe 10 people, 12 people, 15, 20 people, uh, they really need to focus on something, maybe project tracking or uploading or you know collaborating on a particular document. So in that case, we prefer team sites. Uh, there are like, these two are the major, uh, that is the only major difference between these two sites, how the layout is, right? And what the use case is. If let's say you are creating a site for larger audience, then prefer the communication site. If you are creating a site for a smaller group, more privatized group, right? Create a site, which is the team site. Let's look into what options you get when you create a site. So you get these two options. We'll go ahead and create a team site first, right? So we'll specify the test team, right? Test team CC. That's my site name. It is available. Good, right? So by default, we see the privacy setting. It's set to private, and that's the default setting which is provided. So that means only people whom I'll provide the access, they'll get the access. So I'll leave everything over here. The other option we we get is public, but by default, it is private. And that does make sense because this is a team site, right? Um, one more thing to consider uh, to, to see over here is that since we are talking about the team site, once we create a team site, there are many things which will automatically be created. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get one note for that team. We'll get the group email address created. We'll get the team calendar. We'll get the teams a group which will be created will get the planner board like everything and anything which is which which will make their work easier to collaborate so all that will be created automatically and they'll be interlinked uh, together so let's click on to next we'll type in let's say i'll type in my name i'll type in my email address i'll get the name so i can assign myself uh, the roles uh, either I can be the owner of the site, either I can be the member of the site. I'll just click on the owner and I can hit on the finish button, right? So that's how you create a team site. Since I already created a team site before, so I'll not go ahead and, you know, complete this step. I'll close this and I'll say discard. Let's go ahead and move on to the modern experience communication site. So this site, it says over here, this is intended for a larger audience, thousands of viewers where they just, the purpose is just, you know, consuming the content which they see on the site. In contrast to uh, the team site where it was a bi-directional thing, where uh, they were consuming it and they were, you know, updating the content or creating the content on the site. So let's say we create a communication site, com test cc, right? So this is available, good. 
one thing to notice over here, we do not have the privacy setting, which was over there. And since we don't have the privacy setting option over here, it is intended and it is understandable that this site is public. Whoever is part of your organization, they'll directly see this site. So if I click on to finish, it'll create a, it'll create a communication site for you. So we don't need, uh, uh, since I already created the site, I don't need to create a new site for this, right? So we can go ahead and discard this. So let's move on to our communication site back. The major difference, as I previously mentioned, navigation is uh, navigation on communication site is on uh, is at the top, and navigation site navigation segment on the team site is on the left uh, left panel. So that's the major difference. The other difference which I mentioned is when you create a communication site, it's a standalone site. There is no Teams channel created. There is no planner created. There is nothing created. It's just the site which is created, which is totally separate. So if you have to create a Teams channel and link it, then that, that'll be the manual process, which you have to do. But in the, uh, but uh, if we are talking about the team site, then as soon as you create a team site, you'll be, you'll be getting the planner created. You'll be getting the email addresses, which will be created. Uh, there'll be the teams um, channel or group, which will be created automatically. So many things will be created. So that's good to know. One more difference, which I see, and it, it may vary from organization to organization, how they have uh, created and how they have set up their environment, the org. But one thing is uh, in the team site, if you go to team site, then external sharing is enabled by default. By that, I mean, if you have to share, let's say this, uh, any, any document which you uploaded, if you have to share that document with, uh, with a person outside your organization, right? So you can directly share that since the external, uh, external sharing is enabled. But when we talk about the communication site, external sharing is disabled by default. And by that, I mean only people within the organization, they can access your, uh, uh, your content. And if you want people outside the organization, then you have to switch, uh, you have to toggle that functionality just so you have to enable the external sharing. Uh, rest, there are many more differences. Oh, those are uh, the minor differences, but the main thing is um, the major major differences. Communication sites are intended for larger audience. Team sites are intended for uh, just team size uh, teams, few people in the team, and uh, team sites are basically bidirectional sites. By that I mean, uh, they there can be two way that uh, the the content creators, they can, you know, create the content, they can consume the content. So both sites, it'll work, but communication sites are intended for just consumption basis, consumption purposes, that uh, something is posted, people come over here and they consume the content. They look into, they click onto the links and then they can download it, they can view it, right? So that's the overview and that's the uh, difference between these two sites. One thing to note over here, is you can get the functionality, like you have almost the same functionalities for these two sites. It's not like what you can do in team site, you cannot really do the, the same thing in modern experience communication site. You can do the same thing with both the sites, but it's more of a decision from business perspective. Do you want a site where people, uh, people can you know, just consume the content? Where, where we have larger audience viewing viewing your pages or viewing your landing page, right? Or do you want a site which is just for a project basis? Once you're done with the project, it's done, right? So that's the de decision which needs to be made. Uh, rest, everything can be done with both the sites. All right, thank you for watching and uh, do provide me with any anything, any point which I missed uh, in the comments below and uh, yeah, we can, uh, I can, I'll try my best to provide the answers or provide uh, the responses to the comments. But yeah, that's uh, the, that's the video. Thank you so much. Have a great day.